Do you want to learn how to make your Arduino board? If your answer is yes, then let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Arduino programming, PLC Ladder Logic programming, SCADA application designing, SOLIDWORKS, Visual Basic application designing and programming, from microcontrollers to send and receive data, Android, security systems, robotics, image processing and much more. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. Welcome back my friends. Before we start making our own Arduino board, first let's have a look at 80 Mega 328 microcontroller and study its spins. This is the most important part because you can make your own Arduino board only if you know about the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller pins. Once you know about the pins, then making the PCB is very easy, which I'll show you in a couple of minutes. So let's start with the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller pin out. This is the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller pin out and let's start with the first pin which is the RST and RST means which is the reset pin. We will connect a 10K resistor and a push button with pin number 1 so that we can manually reset the microcontroller. Pin number 0 and 1 are the RX and TX pins which can also be used as digital pin D0 and D1. And pin number 4 is D2, pin number 5, D3, D4 and D5, D6, D7 which are 11, 12, 13. Well, if you can see the pin number 7 and 8, with the pin number 7 we will connect plus 5 volts and pin number 8 will be connected with the ground. Pin number 9 and 10 we will connect a crystal which is 16 megahertz and pin number 14 is 8. So as you can see over here digital input output and the analog digital or output. So these are the analog pins which can be used as analog and digital pins as well. So this is the 14 which is B0 and then 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19 and as you can see pin number 5 and 6 can also be used as PWM and can also be used as digital input output pins and similarly the pin number 3 is also PWM um, and like you can see over here 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Now pin number 20 is plus 5 volts it will be connected with the 5 volts and this one which is pin number 21 will also be connected with 5 volt and pin number 22 will be connected with the ground. And pin number 23, 24, 25, 6, 27 and 28 are the analog pins which are A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5 and these pins can also be used as digital pins. To power up 80 Mega 328 microcontroller we will be designing our own 5 volt regulator supply using 7805 which I will show you and the PCB designing. So these are the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller pins and using this information now we will be designing our own PCB and once the PCB is designed then we will be doing the soldering and then at the end we will practically check this. So my friends this is the PCB I designed uh, in Catsoft Eagle 6.5.0 light version. If you want to learn how to design PCBs and how to make PCBs, how to do automatic routing, how, how to do manual routing, please watch my tutorial on PCB designing and schematic making. So now let's discuss this design. I've already created this. So let's start with the pin number one of the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller which is the RST and it is connected with 10K resistor as you can see. So one side of the 10K resistor is connected with pin number one of the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller and the other pin is connected with the output of the 7805 voltage regulator. So it means that we are giving 5 volts through 10K resistor to pin number one and then a push button is connected so one pin of the push button is connected with the ground and the other pin is connected with pin number one so when we press this button it will give ground to the pin number one and it will reset the Arduino so that is the manual reset and then we start with the RX and the TX as we know that the microcontroller pin number two and three are 
are the RX and TX pins which are used as uh, the serial port for the we can also use this for the debugging and we can also use this for interfacing all those modules which do serial communication and now the pin number four is the digital pin 2, pin number 5 is the digital pin 3 and pin number 6 is the digital pin 4 and now as you can see over here pin number 7 of the 80 mega 328 microcontroller is connected with a 5 volt and similarly pin number 20 and 21 are also connected with 5 volts so these are connected with the 5 volt and pin number 22 is the ground and it is connected with the ground as you can see and pin number 8 of the 80 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller is also ground so as you can see the ground wire is coming from here and connected here and we know that pin number 9 and 10 has a crystal which is 16 megahertz so one pin of the 16 megahertz crystal is connected with pin number 9 and the other pin is connected with pin number 10 and 22 pico ferret 2 capacitors are connected so one is connected with one leg and the other one is connected with the other leg and the remaining two legs are connected with the ground pin number 11 is d5 digital pin 5 and pin number 12 is d6 13 is d7 and 14 is d8 a so similarly 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19 pins of the microcontroller are the digital pins D9, D10, D11, D12 and D3. So some of these digital pins are can also be used for the PWM which I already showed in the pen out, out of the 80 mega 328 microcontroller. And then the microcontroller pins from 23 to 28 are the analog pins which are A0 to A5 and these analog pins can also be used as the digital pins. So the 80 mega 328 microcontroller will be powered uh, by using our own supply and this supply consists of the 7805 voltage regulator at the input of the 7805 we are giving the input voltage the ground is connected with the supply ground and the output is connected with the 80 mega 328 microcontroller to power up this ic over here you can see that we have a 330 ohm resistor an LED which is 2.5 volt LED and its amps are 20 milliamps so using the ohms formula V is equal to IR we can find out the value of the resistor which will be needed to on this LED without burning out we will also be needing a 10 microfarad capacitor which is connected at the output of the 7805 and if you want you can also connect one capacitor at the input of the 7805 and this is used for the filtering and also works as a reservoir so once my design was completed then I copied all the necessary files and sent it to the local PCB making shop and that did the rest of the work for me as you can see on the left side this is exactly the same PCB which I discussed and now let's start uh, soldering the components and then we will doing the testing so my friends this is the PCB and let's start with the base socket for the 80 mega 328 microcontroller let's first install this and now let's start the soldering now make sure that when you do the soldering you don't apply because too much heat can damage the copper wires and can also damage the base socket because that's made up of plastic so make sure you don't apply too much heat so now as we are done with the soldering now it's time to do the testing we will check the short circuit set the uh, DMM on the continuity and now this is the terminal block and with the help of this uh, we can connect the supply wires so we will apply the same strategy over here we are not supposed to apply too much heat this is the LM7805 voltage regulator the left most leg is the input the middle is the ground and the right most is the output so this is the 5 volt uh, voltage regulator which will be used to power up the microcontroller and now after soldering then check the continuity and the short circuit
this is 10 microfarad capacitor which will be used at the output of the 7805 the larger leg is the positive and the smaller one is the ground and as you can see this white line on the capacitor it indicates that this leg is the is the, is the ground one so now let's install this at the output of the 7805 so after the soldering is done and now you can see the these three components are installed the terminal block the 7805 and a 10 microfarad capacitor and now it's time to install the uh, 330 ohm resistor and a 2.5 volt LED so now all these components are installed use a cutter to trim the excess wires and make sure you wear the protective glasses and now it's time to connect the supply wires with the terminal block and these two wires uh, can be then connected with the 12 volt uh, battery or with an adapter so over here I'll be using 12 volt adapter which is 2 ampere just for checking so as you can see the LED is, playing, it is, is turning on and the voltage regulator is working now this is 16 megahertz crystal and now let's solder this and we will also connect uh, 22 picofarad capacitors on both sides of the 16 megahertz crystal so all the components are installed and now we are ready to use 80 mega 32 microcontroller program that and then we can use that to control different things so over here I will be using an LED so first of all use this Arduino Uno to program the 80 mega 32 microcontroller connect this with the laptop through a USB cable write an LED blinking program upload the program in microcontroller and now remove the 80 mega 328 microcontroller and use it in this circuit now over here you can see that I have soldered an LED the resistor is 330 ohm and one side is connected with pin number 13 of the uh, 80 mega 328 microcontroller so now let's connect the supply wires it's the ground and this is the 12 volt and now you can see the LED is blinking and our circuit is working it's just working fine I hope you like this uh, tutorial like and share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching